Hello, this is uh, Eugene Blanchard. Uh, this is the Do-It-Yourself Dino Project. This is part eight and it's titled Moving Forward. Uh, we're going to talk about what the next steps will be. Um, one of them is we're going to look at cog belts versus chains. Uh, something else we want to look at the RPM and that will be how the gears versus the moment of inertia. We're going to talk about uh, changing the bearings to make it a more efficient uh, dyno. Uh, also we're going to look at adding rotors um, to, to make it more versatile that we can add more rotors easily to change the moment of inertia. I sort of got tied up with this. I haven't been working on it for probably uh, quite a long time here, probably three weeks or so. Uh, some of the things that come up is one of them is I'm changing the clutch on my Jeep and that's a big task on it. Uh, something else that happened in the meantime is I built a greenhouse in the back. Right? You can see this little greenhouse back there. And that, so you know how life gets in the way. Um, so moving forward, what I plan on doing is uh, some of the things I'd like to do is change from a chain to uh, sort of a cogged belt. You know, like uh, you have timing belts are like that. Uh, some of the issues that have come up is that I don't want to spin these too fast. Some around 1500 RPM is the limit. Um, right now I have a, a, a two to one ratio here. So when this guy gets up to about, uh, I think the top speed around 3,200 RPM, 3,300 RPM, uh, this is starting to hit around 15, 1,600 RPM. It's getting kind of scary. I'd have to build a cage around it. If I wanted a motor that went faster, like 5,000 RPM, this would be dangerous. And that, so the solution would be to change the gear ratio. Now what happens is when you change the gear ratio, the uh, moment of inertia is um, exponentially smaller. So right now I have a gear ratio of two to one. So if it was one to one, I would need so much gear uh, weight here. But if it's two to one, I'd need four times. If I go to three to one, I need nine times as much. So if I wanted to get the RPM low here and I went a three to one ratio, I need nine times as much weight on here, right? So if I wanted four to one, I need 16 times as much. So there's that sort of balance that you're trying to say, okay, how much RPM, how fast do you want this to, to spin? Some of the things that I would do differently is I would get proper bearings. Right now I'm using uh, bronze bushings. They work well, but uh, a proper bearing. Get rid of the, uh, uh, I would get rid of the, uh, as much friction as possible. Uh, something else is I would make a shaft here and then I'd make it so I could stack my uh, discs and I would m measure each one for a moment of inertia and then I could just add them on. So when you add a, a weight on you're just and you know the moment of inertia for it then what happens is that it just adds so you can start stacking them on like this and make some sort of mechanism like that make it more flexible uh, other than that um, I think that uh, those were the, the next steps that I would do and uh, of course I still have to verify the horsepower right I don't know what the horsepower of this one is uh, we've done some measurements and that I would get another motor, put it on here, double check it and see what I can uh, correlate that on. Uh, and that's about where I'd go with this. All right, thanks for watching.